What's up, guys? This is Webby, back again for your Monday Night Raw review for September 25th, 2017. Raw tonight, lots of things going on. We are fresh off, no mercy. And, you know, Intercontinental Championship was showcased. The Miz and... Roman Reigns building for a rivalry, quite possibly the Shield and the Miz and the Miz Taraj building towards a rivalry because they, you know, teased a Shield reunion when during Miz TV tonight. Enzo being treated like dirt. I mean, the cruiserweight division just being run down, disgusting, nasty, horrifying. Once again tonight, even with Enzo as the cruiserweight champion. And, you know, it made it even look worse with him as a cruiserweight champion tonight. Braun Strowman's destruction continues tonight on Raw. All that plus he's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Why that rivalry is continuing, I do not know. But it is. Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt are continuing their rivalry. It makes absolutely no sense that they are, but they are. Because Finn Balor has already beaten him two out of three times. <sighs> They already had the 50-50 booking, and then at no mercy, Finn Balor beat him. <laughs> Why are you continuing this rivalry, WWE? It makes absolutely no sense. But this is WWE for you, so we're having to watch it some more. Please, let... Samoa Joe, come back and get not injured. Come back, please. So Finn Balor has somebody to fight. Somebody else. Because that would be an intriguing rivalry. Get this Bray Wyatt thing done and over with. But anyway. Enzo Amore. We ended Monday Night Raw with an Enzo Amore celebration for the Cruiserweight Championship because he's a new Cruiserweight Champion on 205 Live and Monday Night Raw. And you know, he has taken the Cruiserweight Championship and and put it right into the ground. You know, the cruiserweight division is now officially buried. And I know I use that word a lot, but it is definitely destroyed if it continues to be showcased like this. If he's going to go out and make jokes, crack jokes like this, and run down the cruiserweight division, his own division, turn him heel. Turn him heel. He sat there in the squared circle and made fun of the entire division. Make him a bad guy. He'll still sell merchandise. I mean, seriously, people are cheering when he is getting beat up by Neville, 
when peop when the cruiserweight division stopped him from going up the ramp tonight, people cheered it. Turn him into a hill. You think one arena is going to be the only place that people cheer that? No. Him coming out there, sure it's entertaining when he does his little walk and says that he's the certified G, the realest guy in the room, how you doing, and all this stuff. That's beside the point. This is disgusting. He's the new Cruiserweight Champion, and he still looks like dirt, because you're still showing us that you don't give two flying craps about him. Because he's still getting his butt whipped. Couldn't even defend himself. Getting smashed into a barricade. Getting smashed into that picture. Awful tonight. Absolutely awful. Enzo looked like tonight. And that entire segment. <sighs> Braun Strowman. You know, everybody's saying that his loss to Brock Lesnar was going to boom. Put him dead stop right in his tracks. Comes out here on Monday Night Raw. And he takes Kurt Hawkins. And pretty much power slams him. Right into the sign. Where people come out. Choke slams him onto a table. Kurt Hawkins. You are pretty much 119 losses in a row. Unofficial match, but still. You yeah. know, Braun Strowman defeats Dean Ambrose tonight. Does this put a stop to his tracks on his momentum? All it shows is that he can mow down the full-time roster. But he can't mow down Brock Lesnar, a full-out monster beast part-timers. That's what it shows. It shows that he can't break that glass ceiling. It shows that WWE is not going to allow him to break a glass ceiling. It shows that Braun Strowman is not going to get any better in the WWE until Brock Lesnar gets rid of that Universal Championship. And we all know where that's going. That's going to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. Ugh. You know, speaking of Roman Reigns, we are all going to have to witness in which this is going to make probably a lot of fans happy. The Shield come together. To take on The Miz and The Miz Tourage. Because they're teasing it. And I can't see. I can't see. You know. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose defending their tag team championship at TLC. With them already doing the fist pound over... Roman Reigns in the center of the ring tonight. If they are doing that, if the Miz and the Miz Taraj is doing that, you know Roman Reigns is going to have to have help. And who better to give him that help than Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose? Who else is going to do it? 
Seriously. I mean, the Hardy Boys aren't going to face Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Jeff Hardy's hurt. We're not going to see Gallows and Anderson take on Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. We're not going to see anything like that. So, of course we're going to see a six-man tag at TLC. It's coming. going to be intriguing for a lot of wrestling fans to see that a one-time thing. So, on this TV tonight, Roman Reigns says he doesn't need to talk to this idiot, The Miz. The Miz says he's not going to be disrespected, seeing how he's carried the Raw brand and made the Intercontinental Championship what it is. Which he has made the Intercontinental Championship what it is, and he has done a lot with that title. Not on Monday Night Raw. On SmackDown he did. He did a lot with it. On Raw he has done nothing with the championship. But you can't say that the Intercontinental Championship is devalued just because he hasn't done anything with it on Raw. It still has prestige to it because what he did with it on SmackDown. There's still some value to it there. Does it need to be on somebody else? Yes. Does it need to be on Roman Reigns? No. Because if it's on Roman Reigns... He will treat it just like he treated the United States Championship, a prop. He will treat it like a prop. And nobody wants to see it like that. Nobody. So... Miz, you know, said a lot of truth to that, and honestly, let's just get ready to see Miz and Miztourage versus The Shield at TLC. That's where they're going. Jason Jordan and Matt Hardy versus Cur Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. I don't have much to say about this match except one thing, and that is... You know, Booker T, you need to wake up and see the light. See the light and not run down superstars because Matt Hardy can make it by himself as a singles competitor. You sitting there saying that he can't make it by himself as a singles competitor. He needs his tag team partner. You have got to be kidding me. He can be just fine as a single superstar. Was the match bad? No. We knew Jason Jordan and Matt Hardy was going to pick up this victory. But Matt Hardy can be on his own. While Jeff Hardy's out. Make this a tag team, you know. But I could see Matt Hardy being by himself. That'd be all right as well. Strowman and Lesnar package of last night. Who cares? Match was awful. Elias took down Titus Worldwide's Apollo Crews. Once again, who cares? The only thing I'm going to say about this, Elias needs direction. He needs a rivalry. You know, we have seen him in these useless matches long enough. Vince McMahon, give him a rivalry. It's time for something important for Elias. It's time for us to walk with Elias in something that's important. There's enough people that like Elias now. We like him. And if we like him, give us something important with him. 
Alexa Bliss. Okay. She's mowed down through everybody except Mickey James. Mickey James kicks her and slaps her in the face twice. So what's going to happen now? Alexa Bliss is going to uh, mow down Mickey James and then lose the title to Oscar. That's what's going to happen. Or what are we going to do? Throw everybody in the matchup, including Mickey James? Is that what we're going to have now? Everybody's, every single person is the number one contender? Come on, WWE. You can be more creative than this. If you're going... To have Mickey James as the number one contender, make it a one on one encounter and make it an interesting, good contest. Don't throw everybody in the matchup. We already seen that. We see that almost every pay per view. Finn Bauer versus Gold Dust. Who cares? Who cares? Finn Bauer wants the Universal Championship. Very interesting. Will he get it? If he's going after Brock Lesnar, no, he won't get it. It'll be a very intriguing concept. David versus Goliath type concept. But he won't get it because the end result, we already know what's coming at WrestleMania 34. But it would be intriguing for a Royal Rumble matchup for Brock Lesnar style match for us to watch. And Roman Reigns is coming after Brock Lesnar. He announced that tonight too. But does anybody really care about that? No. Absolutely not. I don't, and neither does any of you. I know you don't. So, there you go. Who cares? Next week, we're getting Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman. And Bailey and Sasha defeated Nia Jax and Emma. Emma takes the, fin the pinfall here. We all knew that was going to happen. She is the bottom of the totem pole in the women's division. And that was Monday Night Raw tonight. Lots of things going on. The Miz and the Miz Taraj setting up for a rivalry, setting up for a match with the Shield, pretty much. They're setting up for that. You know, Enzo devaluing the Cruiserweight division. And I really hate saying that because, you know, I was a fan. But after seeing this Enzo Amore party and seeing what they did with it, they're, that's exactly what's happening. It is devaluing. That entire cruiserweight division, that entire cruiserweight championship. But who cares? Because the cruiserweight division and the cruiserweight championship, WWE just does not care about. Ben Bauer and Bray Wyatt continued their rivalry, and Elias disposes of Titus. Catering, Titus O'Neill, Titus Worldwide, Apollo Cruz, whatever you want to call them, depending on who you are out there. All that plus Braun Strowman's destruction continues on Monday Night Raw. That's what we saw tonight. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for all notifications, 
Facebook at 2007 Webby. Tune in tomorrow for SmackDown Live Review. And until I see you then, this is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.